Good morning. It is Friday morning. That means it is time for Mom Talks. I'm Jackie Furman. I'm here for Laura High today. She is busy being a mom herself this morning. We are continuing our Summer Days series, talking today about staying home alone. And we are out here at the Specialty Care Center with Stacy Manley Rogers. She is an, a community education instructor. She's going to help answer our questions about everything we need to know about when it's time for your kids to be home alone. Mm -hmm. Thanks yeah. for being here, Stacy. Thanks for having me. So talk to us first about, are there any rules or laws that we have to follow? So our two main coverages here are Missouri and Illinois. So Missouri makes it really easy. There are no laws around the age of a child being left home alone. Um, but of course, we also teach in Illinois. And Illinois, of course, has laws around it. So Illinois says 14 years old is when you can be left home alone. There's a longer statute to that if you want to dig more into that, but 14 is what Illinois says. So that's the law. What the about law. the recommendation, just in terms of what we say here at Children? So what we like to talk about isn't necessarily an age. So every kiddo is different. So you usually see them between 10 and 12 is when we start having the conversation about being home alone, but it really depends on the maturity of your child. So you really know best and if you think they're ready to handle it or not. And we teach a class specifically to help kids learn to be home alone. What, what are some of the things that, that we teach? So we do teach a class. Um, actually, I like to call it a workshop because I don't feel like I'm teaching. What we're really doing is getting conversations started with families. So you come as a family and you work together as a family. And I think that's a really nice way just to start conversation about what the staying home alone look like. Um, and we just mediate. So we kind of talk about topics and we let the families kind of take it from there. So they also get to learn from each other. And I'm sure the age requirements or the age recommendations are probably different per child. Right? Every child is I have different. kids of my own, so this is a very relevant topic for me. I have a 13-year-old <laughs> yep. who's home alone right now. Is that cool? <laughs> I don't know. Is it cool? I don't. Well, you know, it's funny because I think there are some kids who I would say not so much. Correct. But, I agree. but he's a responsible kid, and so tell me what I'm doing wrong. No. What, what should I tell him? So what we're looking for is we really want to make sure that you are having open conversation with him that he understands what the house rules are when you're gone. And if he can follow those, then you are right on the right track. So that's a really important thing. The other thing that I like to talk about in the workshop that we don't always think about is we have a section and we ask the kids to complete it and then we ask the parents and it's like, tell me about the emotions you feel when you think about staying home alone, okay? So they're finishing it on their own, the parents are finishing it, and I think the parents are shocked when they hear that, one, the kids are excited, and they feel proud, but they're also scared. So knowing that helps you go into it also. What are some of the things that they're scared about? I think part of it is what happens if there's bad weather? Can I handle that? If there's somebody knocking on the door, I know what I'm supposed to do, but am I gonna handle that right? Um, so it's just getting used to not having that parent around to make those decisions for them. What about, and I think you had talked earlier before we got together about house rules being different than when you're home alone Absolutely. versus when mom and dad are home. So for example, my son loves to cook. Yes, that's okay. a perfect example. Perfect example. So when you're home, it's probably okay for him to use the microwave, heat up something to eat. But guess what? When you're not there, you may feel differently about that. So again, that open communication so that he knows when mom's not there, this is something I can't do. I have to wait. Okay. Are there any other house rules that, that you encourage people to consider? So we talk about what are the rules going to be if somebody knocks on the door? Um, what is your disaster plan? What happens if there's a fire in the house? Where's your meetup location? All of those things. So we talk about that in, in the workshop. We, we draw plans if you don't already have a plan. That's something that we work on. And I think that's something parents don't want to think about because they don't want that to happen. But if the kids are prepared, if it happens, mm -hmm. they're just better off. What else can we do to help our kids feel more confident? Again, open communication. You really have to keep the lines of communication open. Um, I think also starting out slow and then building time will help them build confidence. Um, so you start out with shorter periods of time and work into bigger uh, periods of time because the longer you leave them home alone, the more complex the situation becomes. Okay. So what about times of day? Is it better to be home alone in the daytime versus the nighttime? So we always say it's better to start out during the day because things are a little more normal for them. And then as they get um, more comfortable with it, you can talk to them about talk to them about it, though. You definitely want to talk to them about it. Because that's one of the things in the last class that I had is they felt um, it, when it's night, they feel a little more scared about the noises in the house, about things happening outside, those kinds of things. So again, communication. I think we have a question. 
the audience. If my son does not have a cell phone, are there other ways for him to contact 911 if he's home alone? Gosh, great question. So what we talk about is we always recommend um, in the workshop that you go visit your local police department and do that for multiple reasons. One, we, we don't want them to be afraid to call 911. We want them to know that the police want them to call if they have questions. The other thing is in your area, if you have a landline, even if, if you don't have a landline, but you have a phone that plugs into your outlet, you can typically call 911, but you want to check in your local area for that. What about other kids in the home? So you've decided that your 13-year-old is okay to stay home alone. What about buddies? That's a great question. Again, we take that back to the parents and what are your house rules? Mm -hmm. And maybe it starts out that there are no, no buddies, no friends coming mm -hmm. into the house. And as they do better with being home alone, maybe you can add that. But again, not only when you add time do you add complexity, but when you add more kids, you add complexity being okay. home alone. Okay. So, so speaking of adding other kids, and I know we covered babysitting earlier in the spring, but just mm -hmm. to kind of talk about the differences between when you know you're ready to stay home alone versus take care of another kid. Exactly. And we have, actually, that's one of the conversations we have in staying home alone, too, is if you have a sibling. And again, it all goes back to the maturity of that child. So babysitting, there is no right age for that. It, it really depends on the kiddos. Okay. What am I forgetting to ask you that's critical that you make sure that your parents know when you um, teach these? I, I think part of it is the parents feel confident when they walk out the door that their kids are going to do and follow the rules that they want them to follow. Um, and if you have that open communication, you're very clear about house rules, you'll be well on your way. Do you have any upcoming workshops that we should know about? Oh gosh, so if you get our Kids Today magazine or the email, it's fabulous. The very center fold has all of our classes, so you can check out the schedule. All you have to do is call 314-454-KIDS and they can get you set up. So if I have questions about whether my 13-year-old can, you know, make pancakes at home, can I call you? We, <laughs> we want you to come to class because it's a bigger conversation. Absolutely. Yeah, so okay. we want you to come to class. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. Thanks for having me. It's an important subject. Absolutely. So. Well, that wraps up today. And it is the first day of summer, by the way. Yeah. So happy first day of summer. Um, and that is the end of our Summer Day series for today. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend.